Hey, welcome to another exciting edition of In the Shoot. <laughs> Kalen is with me uh, via not being together. Was it Zoom, Skype? What the hell are we Zoom, doing anymore? Yeah. Zoom, Zoom, yeah. It's Zoom via San Antonio. Thing. Yeah, and I'm, I'm the technologically uh, advanced one of the two. No, I'm just <laughs> not really. So, <laughs> all right, Kalen, what do you got for us today? Well, I've been watching uh, Yellowstone again. Just because oh, I have it, I have you here with me, and I'm in my room by myself. And oh, is it started the, the fourth season? No, or I'm are you redoing? I'm oh, you're okay. It, yeah, and okay. this time it's more for pleasure and just kind of taking some things from it. But something I did notice, I'm going to share my screen here. It just shows it, you how much TV I watch because I I know something's coming out, but I had no idea when. Yeah. Um. So I'm going to pull this, pull this out just a second. So right here, um, you'll see this is a character in Yellowstone, Rip Wheeler. Uh, he's mm -hmm. kind of like the the hard uh, the hard cowboy of, of everybody. Um, but what I'll, I want to kind of bring everybody's attention to is the scabbard. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I saw this um, while I was watching Yellowstone. I was like, hey, they actually got this part right. Because we've, talk, we've talked about this before. Either you'll have like a, your scabbard for your rifle will either go more vertical and just under your mm -hmm. leg, or it's going to be kind of horizontal, but still go under your leg from the front. Whereas if you go to this, this is the classic Western look that you'll find with the old 50s, 60s, 70s uh, movies, Westerns and movies is the scabbard is underneath with the handle and the butt on the back end of that animal. Um, the handle? Well, <laughs> the butt. Lever, lever. I don't, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there, but the butt of the yeah. rifle. And I right. just thought that was interesting. That was one of the things that they did get right. We've, we've said that Yellowstone or turned or, or that would be turned upside down. Just roll right. that over too. Right. Yeah. But we, you know, we talked a couple times that, you know, Yellowstone, they got some, some things right. And I, I just yeah. noticed that was a detail that they got right. And I wanted to share that. And I, I want to get your thoughts on, on scabbards and Westerns and, and stuff like that. It's driven me crazy for years. Cause yeah. uh, you know what? I have never heard of anybody losing a rifle with the scabbard coming, you know, oriented oh, forward where it's coming out in front of you. Never. And, and I can, I can get, and I've done this. I mean, get off of a horse, pull that rifle out because I'm right-handed, pull it out, pick it, pull it out with me as I'm climbing off that horse and have it ready. I've done that a lot of times. Out the back looks handy, but I know of a couple of fellas that have lost their rifles mm. going up a hill in the mountains, yep. you know, and that comes unsnapped, uh, your, your uh, cover will easily come unsnapped. Uh, you just hit it some branches or go through some brush and unsnap it. And then you go up a hill and the next thing you know, you look back for your rifle and it's gone. Yeah. And I've known some that had retrieved the rifle, but there's like, they were bushwhacking, wasn't on a trail and lost their track going back and lost the rifle. So mm. yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of pulling out, out to the back for that reason. I was told that when I was a kid, don't, don't put your scabbard on that direction. Put it in front. Yeah, and it looks cool. The right. But... <laughs> well, the other part of that is if you look, if you go back to that, can you go back to that picture that shows from the yeah. rear? And actually, the one that that uh, character from Yellowstone has. There you go. Look at the front of where that sh where that's pointed at his shoulder. Yeah. Right uh, the very front of the barrel. Yeah, you're right in the front of that horse's shoulder. Um, and if it's pushed in a little bit, if your leg is laying on that, you're rubbing that shoulder with All the right. front of that scabbard Yeah. And with every step that horse takes because your leg is going to push that scabbard and that whole rifle closer. Now, if you go back to where the character was and take a look, that right behind his leg, just down a little bit low, a little lower, a little lower behind, behind oh, the right leg, here. right there. Yeah. Pops out. You see that? That generally does not... Uh, touch the horse because the barrel of the chest of this horse is rounded so that that sticks out a little bit even though your leg is down now well, one even thing if that, you go more vertical too it's the same thing right. it only touches yes. really right here correct that's it. yep and and this is a little bit the way he's got that there is a little bit uh realistically a little more uncomfortable yeah because it's up higher under your leg or under your knee and you feel that and it's, it stretches your knee out a little bit. But the other part of that is when you go to do a right turn with that horse, that, that stock of that rifle, that butt will hit in their, in their uh, neck. It will yeah, right touch here. their neck. What I like to do is kind of a happy medium where it's not straight up and down, but it's kind of 
angle just enough to where the bottom of this butt or it's actually the top if it's turned over yeah is just above just above that horse's neckline so that that horse can turn kind of coming and out turns here. underneath of that rifle butt yeah yeah i just but i thought that was that was something that i wanted to share because clearly clearly they got it right but then like you said too the the other thing of, of coming off the horse as well like you don't necessarily have to yeah. have a strap if it's if it's more vertical like we're talking about and on that right side you don't have to have a strap to hold it in it just kind of it's it's placed it in stays. there and it doesn't it will go anywhere. stay yeah. right well, in then, fact is i have have ridden so much that the very bottom of that depending on what kind of scabbard you've gotten what it fits if there's a universal one that fits most um i have had it where the pressure is enough from the front of the barrel down to the bottom if it's touching and it doesn't have a really good custom fit up above i have actually over time ripped the stitching on the leather oh. so that the barrel will stick out it'll drop even further so that that rifle wants to stay in the scabbard yeah so now well, a little side note that was that's rip right yeah yeah your mother says i'm a lot like rip i don't see it is <laughs> yeah, that true me neither do i have anger uh, issues the uh the thing that i also crap? i wanted to say about the uh the the scabbard where it's it's more horizontal and it comes out the back is there's there's two issues i have with it as well not only you're talking about with potentially losing the rifle and it falling out but when you go to reach it it if you've ever been in a saddle sometimes it's hard to lean back and pull all the way back out like that because you have to clear the entire muzzle and yeah. and some based off of you know whatever rifle you have some of those can be so long that it's almost impossible to pull it completely out so you have to dismount come around the horse and get it off or the other thing too is that butt kind of like what you're talking about with the shoulder it's pushing up against the flank of that animal and it actually it, depending on how much you trust your animal they might not like it and you could end up having a a little bit of a western day too is if that's that a that's a training that's a training issue then at that right. point right but uh no you're right and 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 generally uh today's hunting rifles are a little bit longer barrel right. we're like a little bit more accuracy and you take an old model 94 winchester 3030 they're pretty sure know, we've got a couple of them you know yeah they're older uh one of them my grandpa bought when he was 16 years old and i got that rifle still usable well usable um short barrel not as accurate at long distance of course it's got a trajectory like a rainbow but um that's the nature of a 30 30 but you can pull that out behind a little bit easier with today's modern rifles you know you got a 26 inch barrel which is a pretty pretty lengthy barrel um you're almost you're better off on the ground and then pulling it out Right. Because just what you say, being able to clear that and, and get out. So yeah, I'm I'm that's good. I'm glad they saw got that right. They obviously <clears throat> they have not done a lot of writing with that like that, or it would be dropped out just a hair lower and then tipped up a little bit. But hey, you know what? That's okay. They're close. Well, and the leather wouldn't be nearly as purty either. But hey, it gets it gets marked up. It gets it gets used. Yes, it does. That that, that is a fact. Well, that's all I wanted that's to share it. with the yeah, that's all I want to share with the scabbard. So I think with this, we'll wow. put this conversation to pasture. Okay, you still didn't answer the question about if I'm uh, like Rip or not. We're gonna put this conversation to pasture. 